this is the coolest thing in the world that we can help possums. <laughs> so, oh, this is, oh, are they in there? Yeah. I can you see them? Well, Watch we can, them. So they're asleep? This one, this one should be oh, there's both two of them. So, Mike, I can bring these pet taxis back. Oh, look at you, buddy. I'll pick them up at the house. Okay. Oh, hey. uh, so yeah, now you know, uh, and they'll be okay inside this, the truck. Yeah, okay. we might want to park it in the shade so they don't bake. Well, that's what One that's what I was thinking. Sayings is he's grinning like a possum eating sawbrier. Hey, babe, <laughs> we're gonna we're let you out possum. at my house, hey, okay? Possum eating sawbriers. I got that. I don't know. I thought I shared with people that your wife is she, it's it's a wild animal rescue. Is it up in Banner? Well, it's Lee's McCray, the Lee's Wildlife McCray? Care Center. Oh. She Lee's McCray it. College and Nina started it 15 years ago. She's the director. Yeah. And they they rehab injured and orphaned animals. So these were orphaned. Their mama got yep. killed. Yeah. We don't. I don't know the exact story, yeah. but something like that. And so then they nurse them back and get them healthy, and then it's time to release them. So we got two juvenile so uh, possums. They're really an opossum. We call them possums in North there. Carolina. Is, uh, and he's in. He or she's in there, and they're a little bit scared, I guess. But but we're gonna. We, but so I we have a, we have one pet possum we call Portia, and then we got other ones that live there. So what I'm going to do, Mike, I'm going to let them out on the south side of my property. I make sure they got a place where they can see there's water, and it, the other possum comes, I think, drinks out of a water fountain, and uh, and we we actually feed them. I mean, we we put food out every night for our possums. And, to and eat. tell me this, Tony, how yeah. did you talk Jamie into spending the night with the possums tonight to make sure that they're okay? <laughs> Jamie is going to he's going to be our possum watcher tonight. <laughs> He's awesome actually whispering. not. This is the night before Thanksgiving, so we're going to have some thankful oh, possums. So these possums That's are going fun. to a great home, I think. They're camping with the possums. And, so and, uh, they had not been petted. In, in oh, please. They, they make a big point out of not, oh, yeah, not petting like, them oh, and all. Not, not taming them. It's yeah, cute. So I've got two. We've got one here. we got one in the other. I was thinking if y'all have cool program personally at the house, you may not want like people bringing mass quantities of animals to yeah. the house. No, but it's at least at least my crazy perfect. Yeah. I mean, you can tell about that, and then that makes sense. Oh, yeah. So, so if if people. Let's what if let's say there's what 20 mile radius or something with Nina. Oh no, that, we're talking greater than that. When there's a hurricane, they're bringing up yeah. squirrels. Tons really? Of squirrels from the coast. It's like if you had a little baby fox or something showed up yeah. in your yard, you could you could if yeah. you could collect they're it. They're probably not networking all over the United States, but regionally, all wildlife rehabbers are connected together. There's a North Carolina Wildlife Rehab Conference every year, and there's national conferences. It's a big deal. How, how did Nina, how did Nina get involved in that? Is this something she started, she started love, it? <laughs> loving, loving animals as a yeah. kid yeah. and. Uh, raccoons and stuff and then the college came to her 15 years ago and said we want to start this program and so she said all right what what's awesome. the most are there, are there unusual animals that might show up there i mean well i don't think they're licensed to do bear go. but yeah. sometimes it's good seeing you james yeah, 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 sometimes yeah, they'll do fawns and you ever had bobcat yep bobcats a couple of winter would need to be uh housed yeah, and yeah. then released in the spring when they're old yeah. enough and large enough to hold their own in Linville gorge but you can't release them when they're small because yeah. they'll get. So so, so so we talked on the phone. I know a possum is a very resilient animal, but I was thinking maybe it'd be easier on the possum to live on Mineral Springs Mountain than it would to live up wet in Bannery Elk or wherever. Right? I mean, it's so much colder up there and everything. Yeah, be, so yeah, yeah. It'll be a friendlier environment for sure. Now, yeah. uh, uh, I'm I'm curious. Uh, like, okay, I gotta ask this. Are there cougars up here? Because I've had a lot of people tell me they I are cougars. I think there are, and I've had friends that tell me they've seen them, full-fledged sightings. Reliable, well, Nikki thinks, Nikki says, witnesses, yeah. yeah. But some a fishing game, U.S. Forest Service, sometimes they'll They're see. very rare up here, yeah, though. Yeah, but yeah. We, do have, we do have mountain lions. A lot lines, of people say but, they don't exist, but there's... Yeah, I'm pretty, nigh, pretty like 99% sure, because yeah. Nikki said she's... She's seen one before, and, and oh, I know, yeah. anyway, but I, I didn't mind to get off the track. But so I'm gonna do. I'm gonna collect these, and I'm gonna put them out here okay. just in a little bit. Thank you. I'm thanks for letting me build. This is so cool to have you on video. So we're here at my house now, and Nikki has brought some water and some dog biscuits out. I'm putting them in front of it. Maybe they'll see it as they come out. I got the the uh, houses pointed down the hill. Uh, we've let possums out down through here before. It's a beautiful place for them to live. They seem to do just fine. We have a our other possum, which we've nicknamed Portia, lives on the other side of the house. We guess we've named her. She comes almost every night. I didn't want to. She comes from across the road, though. I'm afraid she's going to get hit sometime. But this is the place we're going to let them go. And I'd rather get them away from the road so they don't get run over. So I got both the possums here. And I'm going to wait till Nikki comes here. She wants to see me let them go. But here's one. A little bit scared, a little bit frightened, but we're gonna let it go to a minute. There's a possum in each one of these containers. See so yeah, how this is 
Mineral Springs Mountain. This is the south side of the hill. It's the warm side of the hill. Um, there's not much water up here, so they may go down into the valley and live where there's a stream. The possums we have here locally, though, we have bird feeders and we have water in them. And so I think they drink out of those bird feeders. We have cars parked over there because we've got family coming in for Thanksgiving. So yeah, so we're gonna, very shortly, we'll have Nikki here and she's probably gonna shoot some video of me letting the possums go. I think it's an awesome thing that Mike's wife does. Uh, this thing with the wildlife rescue, pretty, pretty awesome indeed. Let's see where the latch is. So they're both there. They can get out at any time. They got some water. We're gonna leave them be so they won't be scared. Have you already got video of them? Yeah. Right. Brought them over here to the place where there's some cypress. They could walk out and not be so scared, maybe. So the interesting thing is one possum has left its cage in there. I think it's gone into this tree and all over here. And we still got one possum staying in its, it's scared, I guess, to come out. So there it is. Okay, baby, you're gonna have to go on. It's just maybe 9.30 at night. So hopefully this possum will make it smooth during the course of the night. Go on and get into some trees or something. I'm so very happy that the possums are all gone. <laughs> yeah, no possum in there now. I came down to check. Looks like uh, they've eaten all their animal food and they ate some of the uh, uh, do or animal biscuits, dog biscuits, I guess, that Nikki left out. So we're going to water them here. I don't know if they'll be coming back around if they went further down the hill or up the tree. Who, who knows? But that's, that's good possum land down in there. So that's the end of our possum story. And I guess Nikki brought that dog glue out thinking him, I want to go into the dog glue. I don't know. So we'll be cleaning all this up. Beautiful day. Early morning. Got to burn that pile at some point. We'll beat the bush and make sure nothing's living in there. Beautiful day in North Carolina. Happy ending to the uh, possum tale. Peace to all who watch. Subscribe to the channel if you like.